So I'm about to prepare me a um, good old tomato sandwich. I'm not vegan, so I preface that because I get this recipe from Tabitha Brown. So I tried this during COVID and I tried the whole vegan part and it was fine. It was fine, you know. So I moved away from vegan because I had a bad experience. A lot of vegan stuff is um, peanut based and I ended up fixing some, a vegan dish and I used the um, Parmesan, which was peanut based and forgot to tell my daughter who's allergic to all nuts and she has like a near death experience if she gets exposed. So anyway, that turned me off. Um, you know, eventually I may go back one day. But right now I'm just going to try healthy options. So I was just sitting here thinking about, you know, a friend of mine just told me today I had not talked to her in a long time. I just celebrated 13 years of marriage, 15 years total together, 13 years of marriage with my wonderful husband. And um, this particular friend, we went to high school together and she never forgets my anniversary. Like we never talk hardly throughout the year, which is sad but she never forgets my anniversary. Every year I can count on the text message. So ironically, you know, I, I my memory is bad and I gotta do better, but I kept saying, but I think her anniversary is very close to mine. So um, their anniversary is literally a day before. But long story short, I'm talking to her, we're catching up and she tells me that her husband passed away back in September of COVID. And so I'm sitting here now like preparing a quick snack before you know, I get on a call and um, work with a team member with some real estate stuff and just want to grab something quick, just got in. And I just started praying and I was just like, God, we're getting out of here. And we are, we're getting out of here fast. And one thing about it, we can find every reason to either not eat right, to be mad at each other, to show hatred, not show love when we can easily show love, not speak to people just to say hi when you can just easily say hi, don't cost nothing, it ain't gonna hurt you. It can only help my brighten somebody's day. But I say that to say that we're getting out of here. And so um, we might not find ways to get together, but one thing that's guaranteed is we are gonna get out of here. So we are gonna either get together while we are here, or we are gonna get together at a cemetery or at a wake or a memorial service or something of that sort. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just done with the excuses for eating habits and, uh, eating wrong, eating at the wrong time. And, um, you know, and I'm going to show more love towards my neighbors, like literally my neighbors when I see them, like speaking, and my family. You know, one thing my dad told me before he got out of here in March, and I'm a daddy's girl, so, you know, shout out to all the daddy's girls. But one thing he made us promise him was, y'all, please get together, he said. He said, y'all keep partying, because my daddy was a party, and he loved to have a good time. And, um, and I am too, but I'm finding that I'm not as much of a social butterfly as I thought I was. Like, I love me and I love home. So I'm having to, like, really get out of my comfort zone. And because I want to nurture my friendships, I don't want to grow old and lonely. So I want, you know, to nurture my friendships and make sure my friends know I really do love them and I really do care about them. So I just don't be talking to people sometimes. You know, I'm that person, you know, that I'm probably not going to go... And I'm probably not going to be calling. I'll text. But, you know, anyway, so I got to do better about all of that. So I'm just making intentional efforts to eat better, to be better, to treat my body better, and to treat the people around me better, whether I know you or not. So I'm fixing this uh, tomato sandwich with avocado. And I'm just going to put some um, salt and pepper on it. That's it. Just salt and pepper. So I'm just going to grab a little sea salt out of my cabinet and I'm looking for my black pepper. There it is. So just some sea salt and some pepper. So that's all I'm going to do. And I might, I might, I'm not sure. I might put some, uh, I love bread and butter pickles. Anybody with me on that? So we're a house divided. So my my son and I love bread and butter pickles. It's just the flavor just pow, just hits you in the mouth. But my husband and my daughter just like regular, you know, deal pickles. I like those too. But it's just some about that bread and butter pickle on any good old sandwich. If you haven't tried them, try them. It's just the sweetness, that little touch of sweet 
and the regular, you know, just kind of sourness of the pickle mixed together. Ooh, girl. Ooh, man. You talking about good. So anyway, I have made my little sandwich. I'm about to get on a call. So I just wanted to drop that on somebody's spirit today. We getting out of here fast, y'all. We are. And nobody knows the day nor the hour. We know that. So while we're here, let's make use of the time that we have to love each other, to do better about loving ourselves and caring for ourselves and eating right and working out. You know, got to do right. We have to because we got to use the time that God has given us to do what we need to do because, you know, things are looking real crazy around here. So, yeah, so probably not going to do the pickles this time, but y'all get us to try. This is real good. A good old tomato sandwich. And I just put some avocados on there. I love avocados, too. So I love y'all. Mm -mm -mm.